I couldn't sleep. Well, you couldn't sleep either if your $200,000 Bentley was stolen, which happened to Sam Zar of the Dream Luxury Car Rental in Southfield. He wasn't dreaming on Monday when this guy allegedly approached Sam to buy the car, which wasn't for sale. So what did the guy do? He sneaked in and stole the key from inside. Then the thief waited until the next day to come back and steal the car, a car that Sam leases to people that just want to drive a dream car. It's the car probably, but also the way how it happened. I felt very violated uh, for someone to come in and do this type of stuff in your own business. So Sam went to social media and the Southfield police, and the cops put the details of the Bentley theft on its new Ring app notification. But Sam got a lead, a Southfield apartment complex. All right, we're about to bust this guy after my deep investigation. Sam sounds like a cop. I found the car right there. He's hitting the car right there. So obviously he probably lives here. This is my car right here. Sam called the Southfield police, who also got the same lead and cornered this guy. The guy runs, but the cops get him, and they find a key to the Bentley in his pocket. Sam had just purchased the Bentley 10 days ago, so he didn't have the sophisticated camera surveillance system hooked up yet. Whew, doesn't look like there's any damage to this Bentley, but the guy was smoking some uh, marijuana. And a valuable lesson was learned. Don't leave your keys out. Don't park your car near the street when you lose your keys. And it's hard to hide when you steal a Bentley. Everything is good. Besides smelling weed, oh. everything is good. Oh. <laughs> In Southfield, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News. So we're bringing in the one and only Charlie Langton right now. You know, it's not every single day that you get to ride in a Bentley for your story. I know, it's so good there. Hi, Daytona, how are you doing? You doing all right? Uh, I, 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 honestly, I was hoping that we'd be able to have the Bentley here. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, we have like that car. Nobody would steal that car, see? <laughs> but that's okay, it's a nice car, it's a nice car. But we couldn't get the Bentley though. So the story, you know, listen, a $200,000 Bentley, I get it. But listen, if you really want to steal a car and keep it, don't steal a Bentley. They're, they're too well known. And that's the problem with this guy. Literally within 24 hours, everybody knew that the guy living in this apartment complex, which was not a very good apartment complex, that guy should not have been driving a Bentley. Of course the cops were called, Sam was called, he went down there and nabbed this guy. It was actually pretty funny it's, to some extent. Man, Charlie, this story just gets better and better. My whole face the entire time throughout it was just, just in shock. What was the most shocking part of this story for you? Because there's so many new developments along the way. Well, well, I'll tell you what, we heard the story last night, a Bentley was stolen. I'm thinking to myself, a Bentley stolen. Okay, this shouldn't be hard to figure out. I mean, listen, we're in Detroit. We don't even like foreign cars around here, okay? <laughs> it better be an American-made car. This is not even a Bentley. So right there, let them steal it. I'm just kidding. I love the Bentley. Anyway, so we figured it's got to be found somewhere. So, But social media and the cops have this this ring apps like they, they hooked up with the doorbell ring you know the door ring thing sure so everyone got tips the cops got a bunch of tips the owner got a bunch of tips and so this guy was not going to go very far but i think the striking thing about this was that the guy owner sam drove to the apartment complex and basically he and then the cops cornered this guy and when the guy got into the getaway car a Ford Taurus or something or whatever, they nabbed the guy. Yeah. And the guy started running. I mean, this was not a very smart thief. So I think that was the funny thing. And of course, everything is caught on video. I mean, the mm -hmm. video was very, very good. And we just got that video. Thank you, Southfield Police Department, for giving us the video. But they did a great job. And really, within 24 hours, this car was back in the hands of the owner. No damage at all, except... This guy had a little, um, well, he liked to smoke a little, <laughs> maybe a little weed, perhaps. Daytona, I don't know where you are. Maybe it's legal in your state. I don't it know. Is. It recently. is legal here in Michigan, but but not but not when you steal Bentleys. It's not a good combination. So um, anyway, that's what happened to the guy. 
Uh, Sam's a great guy. By the way, Sam, you know, uh, Daytona, you can rent that Bentley. Yes. He rents them out. Dream Luxury Car Rentals, I think it is. His whole job is to, he, he, he owns 22 cars. Uh, uh, Bentleys, Rolls Royce, um, uh, fancy Corvettes, whatever. And you can rent them. And he rents them to people going to the prom, a wedding, whatever. So he's making a business out of out of that rental thing. So he really needs the car. And he just bought the car 10 days ago. So yeah. he didn't well, have the sophisticated system hooked up to it. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know, this whole time I was just thinking I would be so bummed if someone stole my Bentley. That would be so frustrating. I, I'm totally just, I feel that hard. Uh, I, I really cherish my $200,000 Bentley as well, so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my my Bentley, I get I get frustrated when I misplace it or something. But I know. Tough. The funny thing though is he's got a uh, Sam's got his son, and he they left the keys out, and that was a problem. Mm -hmm. Someone stole the keys, and the next day they came in, stole the car. They parked the car. They have a, a second set of keys, so don't think there's anything fishy going on there. It's not. Cops <laughs> checked it all out, but a couple mistakes were made here, and I think they learned something about you know. Make sure I don't have my keys to my Bentley here. Do I have my keys to my Bentley here? <laughs> you yeah. lost them already. So you make sure that when you have your keys. Yeah. I lost them already. Make sure you know you don't leave them out there. You don't want to lose that Bentley. But let me tell you this car. Have you ever driven a Bentley? That's a nice car. I mean, oh, it was yeah. a really nice car. Yeah. I was going to, I was, I was thinking of stealing it. But, you know, <laughs> anyway, it was, uh, it, it was good. We'll keep track, keep track of those Fox 2 Bentley keys. Uh, you guys are doing it right out there, Charlie. Thank you so much for this story. It's a nice little mix-up uh, from, from what we've been covering. So we appreciate you doing the work out there in Detroit. We love it. Thank you, Daytona. Quality time. <laughs> All right. We'll talk soon.